back and focus. Hi guys and welcome back to the Cajal Styles Hair Show. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be breaking up this harsh line of demarcation and then also giving her a more blended, brondy kind of appearance. So I'm going to start by parting her off into a traditional T part with a veil. This is my go-to parting for any low light and highlight type of parting. Any type of TZ light, this is usually what I do. So we're going to get it started with that and then we're going to go in with lightener. I'm going to be touching up her money pieces as well as bringing up all of these other blondes. Okay, so right here we are just parting her off for her money piece. I'm going to be doing all of these weaves. Usually I do anywhere from two to three slices for a money piece, but she wants her money piece really, really blended and very, very seamless. So we're going to be starting off with weaving and I'm going to be teasing a little bit just at that top area to make that blend nice and smooth. Shining that I can illustrate Feel like diamond Pretty that I can focus Feel like diamond Shining that I can illustrate Feel like diamond Pretty that I can focus Happy birthday, ayy Top do you like in my chain? Baby, I want so I call you darling. Cold and lay, and I bet a lot lay. I can do something for you, do like this color. Say I'm not say I bring your cellar. Do I not do the Right here I'm going to be painting some of her tip out so I'm just going to gently tease up into the hair and then I'm going to place a foil underneath and then gently apply lightener. This is going to make it so around her face is really nice and bright or just brighter than all the other pieces of her hair. It's a really great way to tie in money pieces and just make the hairline really nice and really bright. And then right here, I'm going in with horizontal partings, just doing a regular traditional highlight weave, teasing, and then applying the lightener, and I'm gonna move that all the way up towards the top of the head. And then right here, we are starting on the veil, which is the top part of the crown of the head. Just again, doing the same thing, weaving and teasing and then applying the lightener. Right here, we are doing her root tap. We smudged her root with a 2NW because her natural hair is very, very dark. So we wanted to match that. I always sometimes will even go just a shade darker because I'm using Shades EQ with 10 volume here and Shades usually goes on a little bit more hollow and translucent. So to give it some depth, I usually try to go a shade darker. So I'm gonna just go in taking half inch sections, making sure that everything is saturated really nicely. I'm going over any lines of demarcation and then I'm gonna be doing an end toner on her and for her ends we used 7NA, 6NA and then 7M.
This is her straight out of her blow dry before we styled it. As you guys can see, it is so much more blended, so shiny. And then this is her curled and styled. She absolutely loved it. It was such a step up from what she had. As you guys can tell, she's super happy with it. So anyways, this was a great transformation. You guys don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all on the next video.